you're going to dream about half the snakes in South Africa, or most of them, you're only going to dream about 19 minus 2 now, 17, okay? So the snake that you see in your house there, there's nothing to worry about. The chance it can pose a threat to you is very small, and you're going to run away screaming in any case, so it's zero. Okay. Next one, cytotoxic snake. Okay, yeah, this one's got a puncture. Okay, cytotoxic snake, cyto, high school biology, cyto, cells. This is a cell destroying venom. Oh, sounds, sounds like my wife when I come home 11 o'clock at night. Okay, so, someone here, puff at her. Why is it a puff at her? Because it's puffing. Okay, let's just see if he settles. The venom of this snake settles. The problem is it's too worked up. I wanted to show you what makes the snake dangerous. The venom of these snakes, this group of snakes, cytotoxins, it's a cell, a cell destroying venom. It's not going to kill you, but it causes a huge amount of pain, swelling, necrosis. But what makes them dangerous is their patterns. Look at it. If there was a bunch of leaves around the snake, you'd not see the snake. Okay? <coughs> He's not behaving like he's supposed to because he's all worked up. But what happens with these guys? They're very slow moving snakes. Come here. That's this is as fast as these snakes move, okay? <laughs> That's top speed. <laughs> so the problem, yeah, it's a little bit faster than that, but it's not much faster. Yeah. The problem with it is if you're coming along a path and he's there, he can't get out your way. He physically cannot get out your way. So what these snakes do is that they freeze they use their camouflage they lie dead still i just want to see if he'll stop come now so he lies dead dead still he doesn't make a sound he doesn't put his tongue out because he wants you to walk past him he doesn't want to fight you you're walking along he's just gonna lie dead still and say please don't see me because he thinks you're gonna hurt him and then what happens is by mistake you stand on him he's not trying to bite you he's trying to hide from you but their pattern makes it difficult to see. The good news with this guy is a puff adder. So obviously if you're walking along and you stop here, he makes that noise. What happens? You jump about this high. <laughs> and you jump over your friends and family and you're gone. Okay? So he tries and gives you a warning to say, please don't stand on me. The cytotoxic venom. <laughs> The problem with these snakes is everyone thinks that they're these slow moving snakes so we can touch them. These are the fastest striking snakes we have. They're incredibly fast. They will strike, you won't see it, you'll hear a hiss and then you will feel a huge amount of pain. You will not be confused if you're bitten by a cytotoxic snake or not. You will feel it. It feels like your hand is in burning hot oil and you can't make that pain go away. It's incredibly painful. Followed by massive swelling. And then over time, necrosis, the rotting of skin, the dying of skin around that bite mark, and that spreads. Okay, over time. You get anti-venom, it stops that spread of venom immediately. You have to get anti-venom. There's going to be a lot of swelling, so just watch rings, etc. If you feel pain, take rings and watch it. Oh. Where are you going? You're running. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, so the puff adder incredibly dangerous because of its behavior and this, this snake bites the most people or second most amount of people in South Africa. The most common snake bite in South Africa is also cytotoxic, it's the Mozambique spitting cobra. Okay, the spitting cobras have this venom because this venom burns like pepper spray in the eyes. All the other venoms, there's no pain for the eyes. Okay, so cytotoxic snake bites. The top four snake bites in South Africa are all cytotoxic snake bites. You are not going to die. If you go home and have a panada and a black label, you might die. Okay? But you've got lots of time. You get to a hospital, you get anti-venom. And the best hospitals are not the private hospitals. They're the government hospitals. The best hospital in South Africa is in Pangani. It does 400 snake bites a year. The best doctors are there. Okay? So well don't, think, don't think medical aid gets you the best treatment. Sorry? Well yes. Also in Durban, it is 
Saint Augustine, okay, is the best with snake oil. You're all going to get a chance to touch this beautiful snake. Ah, this one? Yeah. You must be yeah. You must be Ufuna. Oh. I'll make it safe for you, okay. So, Sato Toxic. The most, the four most common snake bites in South Africa, all in this group, and you're not going to die. Stop dreaming about them.